So I bought a Mazda Speed 3 on accident. We are riding the new Mazda MX-6. Mazda MX-6? What are you talking about? How do you say it? Two MX-3s. This right. is a Mazda Speed 3. Mazda Speed 3, guys. Sorry. My car language is a little rusty. Let me tell you about it. Yo, what's good, my peoples? It's Ill Roller 16 bringing you guys another video. Today is just going to be a quick, well, kind of quick video about a new addition to the garage. Um, I really did buy this car on accident, partly. Every day, regardless of my bank account and whether it agrees with me or not, I'm surfing on Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, OfferUp, and just looking at random cars because every once in a while you'll find a good deal. And um, in May, I just happen to be browsing and I just type in Mazda Speed and I just look. I'm really looking at like Mazda Speed Proteges, to be honest with you. I've always been a fan of the Mazda Speed Protege, so sooner or later I'd like to add one of those to the garage. But I was just typing in Mazda Speed and I came across a steal of a Mazda Speed 3 um, for the price of a Samsung Galaxy Flip or Fold. That's what it is, a Galaxy Fold Z. So for about the price of that, I saw a Mazda Speed 3 on sale. Uh, the ad read that the owner couldn't diagnose what was wrong with it, took it to a mechanic, and they think that the motor is on its way out. So I already have my hands full with three projects. So I, I passed it off to my buddy. I talked myself out of it. And I said, yo, I sent him a text. I said, yo, this is your opportunity to get into a, a project. It was a 2008 Mazda Speed 3 in silver sunlight metallic, same as his current Mazda 3 maybe needed a rebuilt engine and it would be back on the road perfect project car he said he had to work i told him i was going out to dinner for mother's day i'll check it out for him and see what i thought about it so i go in the white mx3 over here to newport ritchie which is about 30 minutes away from me and i go and check it out real cool guy jose and his wife talk to the guy we're talking the car's immaculate condition especially for the price i was like what's wrong with it? he's like i don't know man i think the motor's on the way going out there's a check engine light mechanic thinks it's probably the engine and it's got a it's got a leaky cv axle and honestly i just don't have the room for it anymore so I take a look at the car, get under it, check it. It's originally from Tennessee, but lived majority of its life here in Florida and in Alabama. No rust, no issues. It seemed too good to be true. And usually when things are too good to be true, they usually are. Then he offers to start the car up. And um, I was like, it starts? I thought the motor's on the way out. He's like, yeah, it starts. I just don't drive it because I don't want to cause any further damage. And I'm like, all right, sure, start it up. Starts it up. The car starts up just fine. Normal cold start sounds really good. Sounds mean like a Mazda speed. And uh, after a couple minutes, it develops a misfire.
and the check engine light comes on and I'm like, oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? And um, either way, he was firm on the price. I end up leaving, going to my mother's day dinner. I tell him, I'm going to talk to my buddy, see if he wants to buy it. And he said he has a trailer at work that he can get it towed over to my homeboy's place if he decides to buy it. Long story short, my buddy flakes. He says he doesn't have the room or the time for the project and pretty much ditches out on the project. This piques my curiosity. I end up talking to the guy. I say, hey, if you can trailer it, it was too good of a deal to pass up. If you can trailer it to my crib, I'll take it. You know what I'm saying? I have room for what for a couple more cars here in my garage. But in all honesty, I'm already overwhelmed. But the car starts up, so at least I can move it. You know what I'm saying? So that was the upside of it at, at that point in time. So he says, okay, no problem. It's a done deal that he'll have it delivered on the weekend. So then the weekend comes and he couldn't get a trailer. So I say, all right, man, well, you know what I'm saying? You'll just, you know, I'll, we'll just pay for a tow truck and discount that off the price of the, um, the car. He's like, no, no, hold on. He's like, you know, even though I'm kind of cautious with the car, it'll make the trip to your house, you know, 30 minute, 25 minute, 30 minute drive. No problem. I, so then this immediately sets off a light bulb in, in, in my brain. I'm like, the car can't be that bad if he's going to limp it over here. You know what I'm saying? 25 minute drive and risk getting stuck, blah, 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 blah. So I just kept that in the back of my mind. The car gets delivered at night. Him and his wife and his son, you know, leave in the second car in their VW Golf GT, GTI or GTR. R32 is what it is. I'm sorry, R32. And um, everything's legit. It says I can text them if I have any questions about it, blah, 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 blah. So then again, I'm already curious because the car runs and drives. And the next day I start tearing into it. I buy a code scanner. The check engine light says there's a misfire on cylinder two. I grab a coil pack from my Mazda Speed 6 motor, swap it out, change the spark plug as well. And the car starts up and drives just fine. I've been driving it from June to today with no issues. Oil and tires, that's all the car needs right now. Um, I don't beat on it because I don't want to, you know, I'm not sure how much of a time bomb it is. If, you know, I'm, I'm hoping the guy and the mechanic know the car, but the car's been driving just fine. I'm able to hit boost and really no issues. Again, I don't beat on it right now because, again, I, I can't afford to have three non-running cars. But it's pretty much been my daily driver alongside my uh, white MX3. So... Yeah, pe my peoples, that's the uh, that's the long backstory of how I bought the Mazda MX-3 on accident. I didn't really want to buy it, but the car was too beautiful. I fell in love with it when I saw it. My buddy passed up on it. I couldn't, I couldn't refuse. And thank God I did because, again, me and my girlfriend love the car. Um, it's going to be a great family car. I got to get a car seat and all that stuff. We have some new additions to the family and uh everything just kind of worked itself out but uh yeah i ran the carfax on it it was all clean obviously before i got it delivered it is a three owner car originally bought in tennessee then the owner the second owner jose drove it from tennessee to alabama then from alabama to florida and i am now the third owner no accidents no nothing a couple aftermarket goodies, very tasteful, tasteful um, mods. Uh, some of the mods that it has, let me think here. It's got solid motor mounts, so it's a little bit more vibration than I'd like. Uh, I'd probably has uh, two, yeah, two, two of the three mounts are solid. 
I'd probably just keep one of them and change one of them to OEM eventually when I get a chance. But for right now, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It had a EGR delete. I put the EGR back in uh, to get rid of the check engine light. No Cobb access port or anything like that. He used to have one, but he unmarried it. Um, has a modified exhaust. They removed the second cats and uh, the muffler delete. And it sounds really, really nice to me. Uh, I really enjoy the sound of the car. And again, I'm not a huge exhaust guy. Um, a suspension. It's got some suspension. It's the same motor also as the uh, Mazda Speed 6, a 2.3 mzr turbo but it's front wheel drive instead of all wheel drive and um that's pretty much it a couple cork sport goodies um and that's about it my peoples so without further ado let's go check out the car outside but before we do if you want to support the channel want to support what we do here um i greatly appreciate it if you give this video a like a comment a subscribe Links are going to be in the description for any products included in this video uh, that I find on the Mazda Speed 3. Also, uh, links to donate if you want to support the channel. Again, subscribe uh, if you want to give any additional donations. Uh, PayPal link is in the description. It's all greatly appreciated and it all goes towards new content for the cars. Um, as you know, I got a lot of projects, uh, pending and again, it all comes out of pocket. So if you really want to support what we do here in any shape, way or form, it's greatly appreciated. All right, my peoples, without further ado, let's go check out the Mazda Speed 3. Shoot. Sure. All right, my people. So this is my new Mazda Speed 3 GT Grand Touring is what the GT stands for. Uh, this is a 2008. They come in a um, in a sport version and a GT version. My Mazda Speed 6 is a sport version, and then this one's a GT. So this one has the leather, uh, nice Mazda Speed seats, which we'll get to in the interior. But uh, again, starting with the exterior, 2008 Mazda Speed 3. This one is sunlight silver metallic and um yeah let's talk about the exterior so pretty much it's all factory only thing i have done to the exterior is um a full paint correction so i spent about eight to ten hours doing a full paint correction on this um so that's why the silver looks really good the previous owner kept the car in excellent condition so the paint you know was still in good condition but it had some swirls silver is really hard to um to detail in my opinion as opposed to like something like a black where everything's really shiny and visible silver hides a lot of things and personally silver has never been my favorite color but they're growing on me the silver speed six is like a really nice blue changes colors this one's a little more of your standard silvers but it still looks really good after the detail so sunlight silver metallic stock mazda speed 3 wheels these are 18s by 18 by 7s i think with some hand cooked tires i did change out the lug nuts on it to some tuner style lug nuts instead of the chrome ones let's see what have i done to this car i changed the um the signals to clear i have the smoked ones uh well it came with the smoked ones from the previous owner uh window tint this has ceramic tint standard the previous owner did it uh this was about 35 percent ceramic i did tint the windshield with ceramic as well i did that myself i went a little darker than on my white mx3 white mx3 has 70 percent this one has um, Expel 55%. Front HID headlights. The turn signals have been swapped out. Yellow high beam bulbs. I hardly ever use them, but they look pretty cool. I took off the, the plastic dip on the bottom 
that the previous owner did. People do it to make it look like a big old bass mouth. I like the, the clean OEM look. I put um, chrome badges back on the car. And got rid of the black. I tinted the side mirrors blue. Euro style. I took off the mud guards. Factory, again, it has HID headlights. The rear has um, LED tail lights, which is specific to the GT. So when you get a Speed 3, you really want to try and get the GT version. Now here's a major, major thing I really like about this car. I've never been a big exhaust guy, but this car sounds really good. It's like a mix between a Subaru and a um, and the typical Mazda sounds. It's like a, it's a really nice rumble. It's a factory exhaust with deleted, uh, with the second cat deleted and a muffler delete. It's got the Mazda Speed specific wing. Factory antenna. I do have a shark fin, but I'm not sure if it flows very well with the Speed 3. It works on the Speed 6, but on the Speed 3, I'm just not sure. So I got that one on hold. Besides that, the exterior is pretty much factory. Plans for the exterior, maybe a lip kit. Some wheels eventually, even though I really like the factory wheels. It just looks really clean with the suspension, which I'll talk to here in a second the suspension that is modified uh the previous owner has it on well had it on um raceland coilovers which is like a entry level coilover i am gonna update this to either coney struts or bilsteins and i'm gonna keep it the same ride height but yeah raceland coilovers oem brakes i'm gonna do some again some nice EBC uh, drilled and slotted rotors, maybe a cork sport big brake kit, EBC pads, yellows probably. I'm probably gonna update some LED lighting on these reflectors, they don't turn on. So I got those on order either in clear or in red or maybe both, we'll see. What else did I do on this thing? That's pretty much it for the exterior, my people, is I put a carbon fiber license plate frame on it. I did order the Mazda Speed badging on it. I haven't put it on. I'm not sure if I want to keep it, you know, subtle and just keep, keep people guessing, thinking it's a regular Mazda 3. Or maybe I should put the Mazda Speed 3 logo back on. I'm kind of still debating. Let me know what you guys think in black or chrome. But uh, eventually, my plan is to have this one and the Speed 6 out together matching. So they're going to be modded and looking very similar when everything's said and done. Maybe do a HID retrofit with some uh, DRLs in them. That's about it, my peoples. Stay tuned again. This probably won't get touched till 2024, but I want to let you guys know it's in my possession and keep you guys up to date on what's going on.
all right so let's talk about the interior so this is the gt package this one comes with the leather the bose sound system if you get the sport package um, i believe it comes with the cloth and it may not come with the bose but everything's really really clean like i said the previous owner did some really tasteful mods i did order the factory shift knob but i really like the cork sport one that he did it matches and it works works with the steering wheel works with the seats here are the really nice recaro mazda speed seats let me come around little bit of wear and tear on it and then the rear is here very very clean got LED lighting on the inside clean headliner can't really ask for much more Everything came in very mint condition. Again, super, super deal. Factory floor mats, front and rear. Comes with the Mazda Speed branding, which I wish the Mazda Speed 6 had. You really won't know the Mazda Speed 6 is a Mazda Speed from the interior besides the floor mats because there's no Mazda speed anywhere. Everything's just plain Jane. So this one's pretty cool. Red stitching on the steering wheel. Gauge cluster. I'll light it up here in a few minutes for you guys. Looks really, really nice during the day and at night. Very clear, visible. Interior lighting. I've got it on max brightness. You can adjust the brightness. Um... They have a blue glow over top if you want that. I just like the straight red. It's going to be the same way on the Mazda Speed 6 as well. And uh, you could kind of see, you see the blue a little bit. steering wheel lights are really nice again these are all things i had to do on the mx3 i redid the gauge cluster put in a newer steering wheel updated the lighting with leds and it comes like this already on the mazda speed 3 so again these are all things to think about you know how much work you want to put in i mean this car is pretty much ready to go you know what i'm saying but if you want a project and put your own little touch and you want something one of one, then obviously that's why I built the MX-3. But man, it's really nice to have this OEM from the factory. The small stuff, again, these little lights and stuff like that, you know, steering wheel controls, automatic wipers, cruise control. Um, speaking of which, the engine is drive by wire which is super responsive people comp i i was a uh, me myself i had my doubts about it with the um drive-by wire versus cable throttle and all that stuff and in all honesty they're the same i mean this throttle response is really crisp and that's because of the direct injection so i wouldn't even i wouldn't even hesitate about anything like that this is a six-speed manual pretty good gas mileage the display right here let me see if I can uh... you can show where is it info right here getting 26 miles to the gallon I do a lot of highway driving Twenty-six point seven. Glove box is huge. Again, upgraded with LED lighting.
You got the oh shit handles up there for all your passengers. Added a Mazda speed pad. When you adjust the volume, again, the Bose sound system sounds crazy. Especially for factory from 2008. I mean, again, if you're not big into audio, you'll be more than satisfied. But if you're an audiophile and you got to have the Alpine Type R's thumping, then yeah, you might need to upgrade the subwoofer. AC, heat, everything blows ice cold. Automatic windows, power door locks, mirrors, power mirrors. Some more Mazda Speed branding, six speed manual transmission, cup holders, Bluetooth controller, everything works, adjustable headlights, traction control, got the aluminum dead pedals. I'm sorry, aluminum pedals with an aluminum dead pedal, which is really nice. You see a lot of cars that don't have the aluminum dead pedal. It's nice that Mazda went the extra mile. You got the Mazda Speed logo kind of fading. You come around the other side. Passenger seat is mint. And then same thing, the floor mats here. I cleaned them up as best as I could during my detail. Some more Mazda Speed branding. Mazda Speed, which again, I really like because again, these, the Mazda Speeds were really special. In my opinion. Door panel with the Bose Audio. Sounds sick. Sound system is fantastic. Especially since I'm not really like super in the audio like that. It's more than enough. And the rears. Same thing. Door panel. Red stitching to match. I do wish they had the aluminum on the back. So I think the Mazda Speed 6 has it has the aluminum. But again, the car is just very, very clean inside and out. Let me pop the trunk here. So again, everything's OEM. Got the original cargo cover. Brand new struts replaced previously right before I got it. Plenty of trunk space. You can fold the back seats, man. Again, this is a really nice sports wagon slash hot hatch, whatever you want to call it. But that pretty much wraps it up for the interior, my peoples. Um, as far as plans for the interior go, honestly, everything is pretty mint. Um, I'll probably do the headliner either black it out or do it some sort of color to make it pop um i really plan on keeping the car you know i really don't don't plan on selling it even though i could do a quick flip for what i bought it for but that's the only thing i could think of on the interior i mean i'm not gonna reupholster the seats i mean they're sick you know they're cars from the factory they're leather there really ain't much to do on the interior Maybe go back to OEM shift knob. I mean, there's really not, not much to do. Mm, maybe, a, I mean, even the steering wheel, they have like a carbon fiber option, but I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So again, I really don't see any upgrades. They do eventually they do have a suede 
Alcantara version of this where it's leather like this but it's black suede Alcantara it came on the 2009 GTs right before they switched to the smiley face uh, Mazda speed and they did the door panels in the Alcantara suede so maybe eventually doing the Alcantara suede version but I mean this goes so well with the silver I mean, the Alcantara suede might be an upgrade, but it's nothing that I'm going to rush into or like, you know, it's not like having super brown or tan interior where you want to switch everything immediately. So I'm in no rush. I would be like a last finishing touch type of deal is to get the, the suede Alcantara ones. Maybe swap these seats if I do into the Mazda Speed 6, since the Speed 6 seats are kind of plain and boring and don't say Mazda Speed on them. So... Yeah, my peoples, that's pretty much it for the interior. And uh, let's get to the engine real quick. Shoot. Sure. All right, so here's the engine. The engine is pretty much factory stock top mount intercooler. Uh, upgraded boost solenoid from Grim Speed, Cork Sport cold air intake, which sounds awesome. Factory blow off valve with the recirculation turbos right back there. So the engine on this one is different than the BP. The intake manifold is over here, and then the uh, exhaust manifold is towards the firewall. Kind of similar to a lot of modern cars like the K series, and I think the Evo X was even like that as well. Evo 10, whatever. Um, stock top mount intercooler. I don't plan on ever doing a front mount on this car. Um, again, my Mazda Speed 6 is the one that's going to be a little more tuned up. This car, again, only thing I'll do is supposedly when the KO4 turbo, which is a factory Mazda Speed turbo. Uh, blows I might do a plug-and-play upgrade as you could see this has the cork sport sticker because it has some cork sport mods they are the Mazda speed go-to's even though I'm a little salty that they ditched the MX3 when they used to make parts for it but I, I understand it you know what I mean I'm not mad at them but I am a little little salty I might feel some type of way about it but anyways, they'll still get my business. Anybody who supports the Mazda Speed or the Mazda Scene period is going to get my support. Um, but other than that, it's pretty much factory. Red couplers. I'm going to swap out the red. Wait for this plane to pass. Like I was saying, I'm going to swap out the red. He tried to do like a red theme. Looks like on the calipers as well. Which makes sense with the red stitching, but I'm not doing a red theme. I'll keep it a surprise. I'll let you guys uh, take a wild guess at what color I'm going to be switching the theme to. Because again, the theme on the Mazda Speed 3 and the Mazda Speed 6 have to match pretty much you know little brother here big brother at the um big brother is going to be the mazda speed six but again they're both going to be sick man god willing and if you'd like to support of course make sure to hit the like button hit the subscribe button to support the channel directly so if you want to see more new content and support the content in any way, shape, form, or fashion, I appreciate it. Whether it's a like, a donation, uh, a comment, a subscription, I appreciate it. That pretty much sums it up for the um, for the engine and the engine bay. Let's head to the studio and uh, close out the video, my peoples. Sure. One more thing I want to bring attention to, just in case you're watching this and you're interested in the Mazda Speed. Um, even though I'm relatively new to this platform, I'm not new to cars. Um, I see a lot of people parting out their car or, you know, questioning reliability and all that stuff. And with any turbo car, um, you're going to 
they're going to be higher maintenance than an all motor car. You know, regardless of what people say, that's been my experience. All motor cars just tend to be more reliable. Uh, with any turbo car, a turbo Subaru, a turbo Mazda, a turbo Honda, you're going to have issues with the engine, transmission, sooner or later, eventually. Um, but I see a lot of people parting out their cars or, you know, downplaying the cars. And I would take it with the grain of salt. I take it with the grain of salt. At first, it was a bit alarming to see a lot of people parting out their cars or blowing motors i think they call it zoom zoom boom etc etc again i'm not questioning anybody else's opinions but i always have to make an opinion on my own there's been many times when many times throughout life uh where people tell me a movie is horrible and it ends up being fantastic or this person is trash and they end up being really cool so I would just say make up your own mind. I wouldn't uh, be deterred by the opinion of others. Um, but I will say the car is a blast. I truly, truly, truly love the Mazda Speed platform after just driving it for the last few months. I love it so much that if the car blew up today, knock on wood, knock on wood, I would rebuild it with the smile on my face. So again, the good outweighs the bad, in my opinion. If you're coming from an older Mazda platform, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised and I wouldn't let any detractors deter you. I respect the platform no matter what it is, whether it's a Mazda Speed or an MX-3. I never talk bad about the cars. It's all love. We're the last of the Mohicans, so we got to keep it positive. In my opinion, do as you will. All right, my people, so that is my Mazda Speed 3. Plans for the car are pretty much to leave it the hell alone. Oil and tires, like I said previously, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I, I unfortunately am not in a position where I can just be blowing, you know, blowing engines and transmissions and all that stuff. Um, you know, I got to get some other things in order before I can, you know, go all out on something like that. So I really got to take care of my cars and keep them on the road, which is why the white MX-3 still has a stock motor. I haven't done the swap again because I can't have, you know, four or five project cars um, non-running. You know what I'm saying? So right now I've got two non-running cars and two running cars, and I really want to limit it to a maximum of one. So I'm going to leave it alone for now. I do have plans for it in the future. It really is the last car to get modified. I've got in order the Turbo MX-3, which I'm working on now. I've got the Mazda Speed 6. If you haven't seen those videos of the engine bay and the engine removal, check those out. That's number two. Three is going to be the white MX-3 and fourth is going to be the Mazda Speed 3. Um, obviously, I'd like to get like wheels and maybe like you know, some arrow, a front lip, stuff like that. But again, I just got to keep focus and uh, hold one pencil at a time. So for right now, I, I really have to put this car on the back burner. Regardless, I'll make some content with it, maybe some POV driving videos eventually. Um, I'd like to make a comparison of it versus the MX-3s. Um, I've had an MX-3 for over... I've always had an MX-3 since I started driving when I was 16. So... I've had an MX-3 for over 20 years now, and um, having a, a newer car, even though it's a 2008, it's been a dramatic difference between the 2008 and the 94, so maybe uh, uh, old school Mazda versus new school Mazda, let me know what you guys think about that. But uh, yeah, my peoples, that's pretty much it for this video, an introduction to the Mazda Speed 3. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Hit me up on social media. Make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you really, again, want to support what we do here, check out the links in the description. Like, comment, subscribe, donate for future content. It's really, really appreciated. Until next time, my people, this is Ilvola16 checking out. Salute.